Hello guys, welcome back again to our paper for task number 4 for the continuity of uh, document 2. So let's continue about the document file. We've been stopped in the middle and we tried to do for the database and we got at the end in the last question <coughs> excuse me and we got in the last question we have to do an extract for a specific step over here for the query and we have to save it in RTF file. So over here the question is saying import the extract that we saved it in step 26 into your document as a table after the paragraph which ends cruises operating last year where so we have to open back again that file and we have to look where is this sentence so we need to put that table after this so first let's look for the location it's supposed to be over here oops okay it's over here And then let's uh, open that extracted file. Extracted file is supposed to be saved over here, so let's click over it. And then let's copy it and let's get back again here and paste it. Okay, I'm just going to paste it in the plain way. Oops, I needed that. That was fine, but that's not a table. Okay, that is fine. So just make sure that it is within the column range. It's not going exceeding this column out of the column. Okay, all of it is coming here, great. And then let's carry on reading the question. The table fits within the column width, which is greatly fitting in between. The extract does not contain a title, so we we'll have to remove the title so there is no title already only headers and all required fields and their labels are fully visible there's supposed not to be anything overlapping and then no text is wrapped within the extract okay to do this uh, that's also done so to do this you have to make sure there are no wrapping like over here there's some wrappings so what we can do we can remove reduce the size for the first column and for the third column as well just make sure and okay there are no wrapping here for right now so the TC table style is applied to the extract Um, just after applying I have to make sure again there is no wrapping okay okay that's perfect there is no wrapping at all it is exactly fitting the width great and there is a six point space after the table over here you will notice there is a line a new space so I'm going just to remove any extra I'm going to make it into number six okay so that's a six point after this and that's it so let's go to the next question spell uh, spell check and proof read the document make sure that the tables charts and lists are not split over the columns or pages so let's go to review spelling and grammar check let me close the styles also starting with the first one full service Okay, um, it's correct, there is nothing, so ignore it. Try cleaning also correct. Result as result, I think they're just asking to put a comma, I don't need to do this. Cruise ref, those are shortcuts, they're showing it as those are names. okay and that's it no spelling mistakes and then make sure that the charts lists are not split over the columns or pages
okay there are no widows or orphan all the titles followed with the paragraphs and okay seems good there are no blank pages i have only two pages and none of them are blank and the house style specification has been followed and the correct style has been applied and instructed so we have to make sure each is following its house style and spacing between all items is consistent after this save the document using the file the same file name that we did it in step 18 which was tcp report so just make sure it is saved and make sure that today's date and not the date field code display in the header okay just make sure that the date is showing instead of showing the toggled one just make sure that you convert it back again to today's date and print the document while you're printing make sure that your name and center number and candidate numbers are fully visible over there so let's go to print and we can see they're also uh, there in the footer showing and then start to print your paper so that's going to be printout number four 29 answer the following questions and record your answer in the evidence document so the first question explain why styles are used what they mean those styles why are they used and state the purpose of spell check software and identify two limitation of its use let's notice the points the first question explain it has only one point the second question state the purpose that's one point of the spell check software that's when we check the spelling mistakes and then that's one point here and two points for identifying two limitations for this spelling check we have to write down this in uh, evidence number 11 so let's go back again to evidence number 11 over here and let's type our answer here let me make it next to each other's so explain why styles are used why house styles are used we can say that it is for the specific consistent format layout or we can say to give a corporate image or brand recognition for the advertising or official look or we can say it saves time for editing and modifying for each paragraph separately so i can choose one of the answers for example i can say it saves time for editing instead of making it for each paragraph again and again B it states uh, states the purpose of the spell check software okay that's the first part so what is the purpose of using the spelling check so I can say that to identify specific data entry problems that can happen by the user or to help the user to reduce or minimize the errors of entry okay the next part which is related to b and identify two limitations of its use so let's say the limitations can be i'm going to put the limitations over here and I can say um, two limitations of using this uh, spelling check only the checks against words and each dictionary may be recognized only whatever is saved in the dictionary like we saw it over here only the saved words can be recognized while the shortcuts like this can be as an error so this is was some type of limitation 
Another problem can be some of the abbreviations, like I'm mentioning right now. Some of those shortcuts and abbreviations can be considered an error. Another problem can be spelling check does not ensure that the correct spelling is used for the context. So some of them they will try to not to eliminate those type of proof or proofread it. Third one, do not include, uh, it could introduce to some other new errors that we are not expecting or it cannot check the text in imported images. If I copy and paste this as an image, then I'm not going to be able to read this and spell check it. So those are some of the errors that limitations can happen. So I'm going to say that it could introduce new errors. And another limitation, it can be that if text is imported as an image, then spelling check is not going to work. Okay, so that was for uh, evidence number 11. We're done with this. So we're going to stop over here. This is for the following part of the document uh, part for the task number two. I hope you got all the questions and answers. And if you have any comment, you can comment below.